Hey everyone, Chris here from Community Health Northwest Florida. Today I'm going to show you how to complete our telehealth and office check-in. We're uh, looking at my cell phone right now. Um, notice we are going to have a text from our organization, Community Health Northwest Florida. Um, this is a text slash email that will come to you 10 minutes prior to your visit for a telehealth visit. Um, to begin the process, we're just going to click on the text message. Down on the very bottom, notice we have the freeze your check-in. This is where I'm pressing right now. This is directing us to the Freesia platform. Here we can see um, welcome test patient. That's this test patient's name. Um, we see our organizational name, Community Health Northwest Florida. We have our address. We have the date of the appointment the appointment time. Um, Dr. William Wibbs is the caregiver we'll be seeing today. Down below all of that, we see here's what we need to do today. Uh, this is very similar to the pre-registration process. Um, we're going to verify who you are. We're going to review our information. We're going to have an option to make a payment, and we're going to sign any consents needed for today's encounter. We're just going to get started. We're going to press get started. Again, this is a verify identity moment. This is a moment to protect you and your information. I know this patient's birthday. And we'll press verify. This is another layer of protection. This is also making the person entering in this information verify the home address of the patient. I know um, this test patient's address is XZ Street 123. And then I'm going to click verify. All right. This has given us a chance to review this information that we just verified. If you would like to make any changes, um, please see the front desk staff. This is almost a moment of no return. Um, so please verify that this information is correct. I'm going to say I accept and continue. Again, we are presented with all of our demographic information to review and verify that it's correct. This is our sexuality, race, notice our red asterisks. These are noting that these are required fields. Um, it, is, it will not let you proceed if these are unanswered. Um, reviewing my information, everything looks okay. I'm going to hit continue and move forward. Here we have our cell phone number, email address. Um, verify these are correct. Then we also have an opportunity to enter in our, our work phone. I'm going to hit continue. Um, more demographic verification, we have our homeless status, migrant worker status, seasonal visitor. Um, please review this information and verify that it is correct. Everything looks good here on my end. I'm going to hit continue. We have a, an opportunity to mark an emergency contact person. Uh, this, patient, this test patient does not have one, so I'm just going to hit continue. We have an option to select our preferred method of contact. This is saying that I would most like to be contacted by phone from the organization Community Health Northwest Florida. This is correct for me, so I'm going to press continue and move forward. My medical contact permission. Um, is there somebody we can contact and share medical information with on your behalf? For this test patient, I have no. Private health information restrictions. Um, do you have anything inside your health information that you wish to be restricted? I have on this test patient, again, no. And then I'm just going to click continue. We have another opportunity to pay. This is card on file. This is the opportunity to place a credit card slash debit card on file to make a payment. Um, at this time, I'm just going to click ask me later. Um, this is telling you if you did make a payment during this, that you can get a receipt from the front desk if needed. 
um, uh, upon request, just let us know. I'm gonna press continue. Okay, educational screen. This is letting you know that if you selected to pay um, without a card, you are gonna be billed via mail um, and you can pay via cash or check. I'm gonna press continue. Now we're beginning our consent forms. Um, this is our telehealth consent form. It is very important to read this information, understand your rights, and responsibilities related to this um, telehealth encounter today. Um, this is to protect you. This is our potential benefits related to telehealth services. We do have potential risks. Please review all of this information as it pertains to you in this encounter today. Um, our last section is I understand um, and there are laws uh, around HIPAA and confidentiality to protect you as a patient. Um, and this centers around that idea. Definitely, again, take the time to review this information in detail and understand its contents. This is a written consent, is not really a verbal consent. Down on the very bottom, you are going to mark this as I accept. And then here we have a text box. This is going to be your digital signature. I'm just typing the word test here. You would really type your whole name right here. And then check this box to say, I understand by typing and clicking continue, I'm electronically signing this document. Very important. I'm going to click continue. I do, I have read this document and I do understand it. This next button, uh, start telehealth session. Once you click this button, you will be placed in a waiting room. Hold tight, your provider will admit you into the, the virtual uh, exam room as soon as they are ready for you. Um, the, the screen that I click after this it will not allow me to because I'm currently in a Zoom meeting right now. So if I hit start telehealth services, it's not going to go anywhere. So this is the end of our video related to the telehealth in-office check-in. Once you press this button, you'll be placed in a virtual waiting room and your provider will, will grab you and place you in the virtual exam room once they're ready for you. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.